Okay, AP Calculus, AB. I'm going to do another video, just a quick one, uh, demonstrating again the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So let's make this part two. I want to remind you that the second fundamental theorem of calculus is this. Um, and let's see what we can, can make of this. Uh, first of all, make sure you have this as the fundamental theorem, second fundamental theorem of calculus. And then let's, let's just get going with a problem and see if this doesn't work out well for us. So we're going to use this to prove this rule. So we have big F of X is equal to the definite integral from 0 to X of T times T plus 1 DT. All right? The first thing I'm going to do is the first thing I always do in calculus, and I hope that you guys have figured this out for me. I try really hard to be clear about it. The art of rewriting in calculus is fundamentally probably the most important thing you can know in calculus um, along with your basic algebra skills. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this and I'm going to rewrite this as t squared plus t dt. It just is going to make it a lot easier <clears throat> for me to do my work on. There is another way to do this, but it's, it's a lot more cumbersome than it needs to be. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out the... I'm going to, I guess I'm going to start to integrate. So the other thing I want to say is that the goal here has always got to be to integrate and evaluate. So integrate and evaluate as soon as possible. Right? This is our goal in integration is getting to a place where we can integrate and we can evaluate that using the fundamental theorem of calculus where big F of B minus big F of A is, is our purpose. So I am, I'm going to rewrite, I'm going to go ahead and start to integrate this, and I'm going to change my t's to x's, and I'm going to get x to the third over 3 plus x squared over 2, as evaluated from 0 to x. Right? So hopefully that's making sense. And remember, again, our purpose is to go back and prove this. So our whole purpose here is this. So when you see this on the exam, you'll know exactly what to do. I'm going to go ahead and evaluate f of big F of x minus big F of 0. And won't that look like, like this? It will look like x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2. There's my f of x, isn't it? And this negative sign is this one. And then f of 0 will be right, 0 over 3 minus 0 over 2. That's just 0, isn't it? And finally, that will give us 1 third. I'm just bringing this, I'm just bringing this 1 third x cubed plus 1 half x squared, right? And all I want to do to write minus 0, all I want to do now to prove this is prove this through differentiation. So I want to go ahead and take ddx of this thing. And as I do, you'll see here we'll get 3 over 3 x squared, right? 2 over 2 x, right? Which is the same as x times x plus 1. x times x plus 1. t times t plus 1. So d dx of the integral from the definite integral from a to x of f of t dt is the same as f of x and we just proved it. Okay, These are the exact sort of problems that you're going to see on the AP Calc exam AB and when you see them you have got to have done enough of them that you look at them and go my god thank you so much for this for this problem. This is where I'm going to pick up some of my points. So congratulations. Keep it up. Remember, you have to practice. So when we see this AP exam, we have to have seen it lots of times. If you have questions, please uh, send me comments. Please like my video, and please subscribe if you're, already, if you're not already subscribed. Thanks.